So a few days ago, I did a video on how to set a static IP address using NetPlan in Ubuntu Server and how to check your DNS settings uh, when you were done with it. But when I did it, I did it on Ubuntu Server ver uh, version 20. And that process has actually changed a little bit between version 20 and version 22. The net plan looks a little bit different, and they renamed the uh, command that you would use to check your DNS servers. So I'm going to do an updated version or an updated video on how to do that in Ubuntu Server 22. So let me start by showing you how to check your Ubuntu Server version. So the command is going to be lsb underscore release space dash a, and that's going to show you your version. So I've got Ubuntu version 2204.3 LTS code named Jammy or Jammy Jellyfish, if we want the whole thing. So if you're not sure which version you're running, it's been a while since you've installed it, you can't remember if you did the latest distro release, whatever, lsb-release underscore a will show you uh, what will actually, or what version you're actually using. All right, I'm going to go to cd forward slash etc forward slash net plan. <clears throat> And I'm going to show you what we have here. And remember, I did this in version 20, and then I upgraded my server to version 22. So if you remember from the previous video, you can go back and find the previous video. I created a couple of backup files just so I can flip back and forth pretty easily. So I want to edit my installer uh 00-installer-config.yaml file. That's the one that was created for NetPlan when I did the original install. So I'm going to do sudo nano 00 tab, and that'll just fill out the rest of it. And let me go ahead and do my password. Okay. Now, this one is currently set up using my DHCP server. Now, this is or set up to use a DHCP server. There we go. Get that right. That's not the one that I want. I want to edit my static one. So I'm going to do Control X and then LS again. And I am going to copy static.bak to 00 dash. And I'm going to tab over and that's going to copy my static file over. Oops. I have to sudo that. So sudo to exclamation points, and that does my copy. Now I'm going to nano that file again. And this is going to be my DHC or my um, static address. Now this one was built on version 22, or st sorry, on version 20. And if I go to apply that, I'm going to get an error here. So I'm going to do sudo net plan apply and we're going to see some errors pop up so right here gateway 4 has been deprecated use default routes instead uh permissions are too open should not be accessible by other users and so you'll see a few of these errors now let's work on resolving some of these so and remember this file was great under version 20 not so good under version 22. So let me nano this file again. Whoops. And let's make the changes that are needed. Okay, it said gateway four has been deprecated. And that's this line right here. And that is no longer a valid configuration. Instead, what we do is we use the command routes. So I'm going to set routes. I don't need this here, so I'm going to delete that. Also, notice by the way, if you've had if you have uh, version 20 and version 22 uh, side by side, when you nano this file in version 22, it colorizes everything for you. In version 20, it didn't do that. So I'm going to set my route. So I'm going to go down to the next line, and I'm going to space this over, and I'm going to do dash two colon default d-e-f-a-u-l-t there we go so to default and i'm going to space it over again and this is going to be via and then i'm going to set my default gateway 192.168.1. hey that doesn't work let me try this again and fix this and then turn on my number lock because that will make it work much better don't need those. Okay. 
via one nine ah uh, my number lock isn't working it's the joy of doing this inside a virtual machine so i'll just use a regular key at the top 192.168.1.1 okay so that's the way my default route should look now let me go ahead and write that out and then exit and let's try to apply this again so i'm going to clear this and sudo net plan apply now it's still going to give me some warnings here so permissions for net plan installer are too open permissions 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 so it's complaining about my permissions but notice it's actually now taken my um my default gateway that's no longer an issue so let's take a look at our permissions. So I'm going to do ls dash l and we're going to look at our net plan. And you're going to see this is read write. So remember these first three read write, the first one is defining whether it's a directory or not. Read write execute for the owner. Okay, so that's going to be the root. So we have read and write. The second group are read write execute for the associated group. And notice that's read for root and then read write execute for everybody else so what i want to do is i want to turn off those permissions for everybody else and we'll do chmod so i want to do and i'm going to do this with numbers so for the first one read write but no execute is going to be six and then just for the fun of it, I'm going to leave the group as four and zero. And what that should give me is the user has read, write, the associated group has read, everybody else has no permissions. I'm going to do this for zero, zero, and then tab over just to give me the rest of the name. Oops, forgot to pseudo it. Okay, there we go. Now if I do an ls-l, you'll see our permissions have changed. So, sudo net plan apply. And I'm just curious here because I want to see if it was going to complain about it uh, with the group or just with everybody else. Yep, it's still complaining about it with the group. So, I'm going to change this one more time and I'm going to do 600. So, only root, only the root user can actually modify this or read this. So here's my net plan. The root has read write. Nobody else has any permissions at all. Pseudo net plan apply. Now the last warning it's giving, this is not an error for that matter. The other ones weren't errors either. They were warnings. We could have ignored them. So the last warning this is going to give us is it can't call open v switch. Now that one I'm not going to worry about because this service is for a virtual switch and we can't access that because, well, frankly, I'm not running that service. So it doesn't function so who cares now the uh last thing i want to show you so we've got this updated to reflect the net plan as required by version 22 and we see that everything's working now we're getting the one warning but we're not getting any errors we're no longer having deprecated gateways all right so everything is fine so the next thing i want to do is show you how to check your DNS servers. So remember on version 20, it was systemd-resolve-status. And that would show you the status of it, but we're on version 22 and systemd-resolve doesn't exist anymore. It's actually been renamed. So in version 22, we're gonna do resolve CTL, so resolve control, and I wanna show the status. And this is going to show me my protocols, my Ethernet scopes. And right here, it's going to show me my DNS servers, my current DNS server, and then all the DNS servers that are listed. Let me cat 00, zero tab. Whoops. Pseudo cat 00, zero tab because only root has access. And here are the DNS servers we put in 192.168.1.10, 192.168.1.11. And if we look at our resolve status, we're going to see we are using those correct DNS servers. Okay. One thing I want to point out here, 
and this is sometimes an issue with Linux. Some people consider it an issue. Some people consider it a great thing. And that is when we move to ver from version to version, some of these packages update, they get renamed, they get new options. We take out one tool or the uh, distro takes out one tool, puts in another tool. So sometimes when we move from one version to another, some of the things that we were used to doing don't work correctly anymore. It's normally not a big deal. You just got to do a little research, figure out what's been changed, and you can update and use the new workflow pretty easily. Some people do not like that. Some people think it's great. Um, I think a lot of that is going to depend on you and what you like. And then if you don't like that, you can choose distros that are a little more stable. If you want the latest and greatest, you can choose distros that update a little more often, puts you a little more on the cutting edge and gives you a little bit steeper of a learning curve. But if that's your cup of tea, that's not a bug. That's a feature. That's awesome. And we love it. So just be aware of that when you go from one version to another, Expect that you might have to change a couple of minor things along the way. Okay, so there we go. Update on how to use NetPlan in Ubuntu version 22.